Good morning, cloggers. I've got my tea. I'm just going to have breakfast, and it's another beautiful day. And we are going to talk about a noise that I discovered last night that I couldn't find. So I looked in the freezer this morning, and I noticed there was a lot of ice, like a lot of ice. So I turned the ice maker off. Is that okay, Siri? I hope so. But alas, that is not the noise that I heard. So I'm going to head outside in a couple minutes to see if I can find it. By the way, it's absolutely freezing right now. Um, it's only 9 o'clock, but it is freezing. Freezing. Oh yeah, and I was tidying up yesterday and I, I took the right side out of this fence, but I can't, I just, I can't figure out how to close it. Okay, so I'm just going to say good morning to Dahlia and Dahlia. Good morning, Dahlias. Yeah, this, this could be it. This could be where the noise is coming from because that's noisy. Okay, this thing intimidates me. And since the pool temperature is 75, I think we're good. I'm not touching any buttons. No, not touching them. So we've investigated the noise and that is the pool guy and apparently it was the pump. It was the pump. And just to let you know that pump kept me up all night because I was really like I was I was trying to investigate it. I couldn't find the noise. So now I know that this was the culprit and it better shut off when he told me it's going to shut off. That's 8.30 p.m. on the button. I love leftovers. Last night's salad, today's lunch. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm continuing the Anthony Bourdain thing tonight, and I'm just going over this menu. I want you to look at this menu. Not counting these things on the side, there are 173 items. 173. And the majority of these items are... Oh, wait, I didn't even... Hold on, there's another side to this. There's another side to this. Okay, so one side is like sushi and stuff and there's like a hundred items on this side too on the other side has mostly chinese stuff i think mm -hmm. i'm going to test myself i'm going to try to memorize from one through to 118 this afternoon okay i made an attempt to get in the pool and even though it says 75 degrees it's more like minus 75 so i'm gonna have to press some buttons Okay, we're going over to the intimidating pump now. I'm really, really nervous to press these buttons. God, I hope I did this right. I didn't do spa, I did pool, so I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there's steam coming from this, so I did it right. All right, the pool guy just left, and he said he's going to be back in an hour, which means he's going to scare me again. That's what's going to happen. Um, okay, so it is time to set out on another adventure, and I'm going to Tony's Asian Fusion tonight. So here's the deal. I got a number 109, a number 30, and a brown rice. A little bit healthier tonight. Okay, this, this is my kind of filter. So now I look like Tiffany a little bit. Oh God, I love this. All right, it's time to go pick up Tony's Asian Fusion. Uh, when I get back, I'll show you all the goodies I got. Just to let you know, and Sari, if you're watching this, um, I don't even need this navigation system. I know where Tony's is. Made it. All right, let's see what's in this bag. I don't know what those are. Something crunchy. Oh my God, we do not have these in Canada, these Chinese takeout containers. This is the bomb. Soup. Something else. And there's the chicken with the snow peas. So we're gonna plate this up, take it on the deck, and I'll show you what it looks like. Why did they give me four fortune cookies? Is this, does this look like a dinner for four? Mmm, I can't find chopsticks. I'm not sure if I can eat this without chopsticks. 
All right, it's a beautiful evening in Quag, and um, this is my dinner tonight from Tony's Asian. So this was number, I can't remember, 130 or something, chicken with snow peas. There's my soup, and there's my rice. And I couldn't find chopsticks, so for the photo op, these are straws. Okay, Tony's Asian Fusion, you rock. And that's this is like one of the best meals I've had in Quag. But I have a story for you. Anyways, I I got to admit, I got a little cocky with the uh, whole navigation system today. Mm -hmm. So I knew where Tony's was, or I thought I did, and I completely missed the driveway. Missed it. And I ended up on a rural side road. It was, it was quite nice. It was quaint, lovely, but it wasn't where Tony's was. And my nephew said, whatever you do, don't make a U-turn. Don't do it. You'll get a ticket. I was so nervous about this U-turn that I actually had to get into Tony's lot somehow. So this is what I did. Like for a millisecond, it was only a millisecond. I ended up on the wrong side of the highway and in to the driveway. Boom! There was a gentleman standing at the cash, uh, ready to pick up his meal. And then there was me. So I patiently waited. He grabbed his meal, he paid for his food, and he turned around and said, Oh, what a, what a lovely necklace you're wearing tonight. I politely said, thank you. And in my head I said, you're creepy. Go home with your food. And the girl at the cash said, your phone number please? Oh yes, you ordered the chicken lo mein with the spicy eggplant and a spring roll. And I looked at her and said, uh, no, I didn't. I ordered a 170, a 30, and a brown rice. No chicken lo mein in sight. And then the phone rang, not my phone, her phone. It was the gentleman who liked my necklace. He had stolen my dinner. Listen, things happen. At Tony's Asian Fusion, can happen anywhere, right? Well, she apologized to him, she apologized to me, and they literally made my dinner in 35 seconds. I'm so glad that this had a happy ending because honestly, this was delicious.